Welcome back to Kingdoms is Game Edge, and we are back finally, and we have done some work. I've been doing some logging, did some work, and we put up a work area over there, which need carpentry to make ourselves bows. Lots to do. Now, these are the ruins we were talking about beforehand. It is a rainy day, so this is the reason why I have the torch out to make it a little easier for you guys to see. Uh, these are the ruins we were talking about to enter the caves. We will enter those in a few seconds. I want to try out something that we haven't done yet. We haven't done out outdoors. Oh, ow. That's really loud. Okay, so... Damn, mining. Um, yeah, we do have a pickaxe. Here we go. Sounds like a ruler smacking. Now, sounds definitely needs to be changed. That doesn't work whatsoever for me. I think I remember that from last season from the indoors. I replace, we're getting rocks now, which we... Seem to be very helpful for us to build ourselves a rock... House, which is what I really would like to do. Now, we, I guess that's pretty good, actually. It clears up the area, too. That's that's really cool. And if you want to pick up berries and stuff like this, which gives you experience points, you can actually just gather them like this. you got to make sure you have nothing in your hand to gather them. Same thing for going into doors and stuff. If you need to enter caves, uh, usually you can't have anything in your hand. But I think, oh, shit. That's a wolf. Hmm. Hey, wolf, I, I could use wolf meat, to tell you the truth. Do you want to come over and check out the village? Let me just get my axe in here for uh, purposes of in case of emergency. Do we need to swing it out? I wonder if I can outrun him. Um, excuse me. Are you nice? Are you stuck? Oh, you seem to be stuck. Well, let me let me just check this out here a second. How many strokes does it take for this axe? Three, four. Five. This is great. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that was a hundred and ten experience. Holy shit! Hunting is number one. That was actually what I was most curious about. One hundred and ten experience. That's that's really good. We've got five points. We just need a couple more. We've got a couple more wolves that want to stand still for us. But again, that's definitely things a lot to work on. Again, they did advise us developers that they were working heavily on it, and just to give us a chance, they're working day in day out to get all the kinks out of this. And we're going to see an early access of it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's walk in here. Let's check out the cave. Into the ruins we go. R R R. Let's see if that actually was fixed now. I, can I enter the cave with an axe? I can. Ooh, that's a lot smoother than it used to be. Except for the being jammed into the rock here. That's that's not good. Okay, let's see if we can jam ourselves out. Can I hop? It looks like... Nope. I, I don't have a pickaxe. Let's see if we can put the pickaxe and get ourselves saved from here. Hmm. Is this a rock that was supposed to be mined? Is that it? Oh, here we go. We can probably mine our way out of here. There we go. We saved ourselves. Oddly enough, we saved ourselves. Let's get the torch out. And again, those are kind of things that you're going to have to go through. Well, the monuments are bigger, I think. I don't remember seeing that in here, but it has been a while. Now, these are the ones you're going to have to go after. This will give you iron. Can I grab a torch afterwards to, so you guys can see properly? don't have a pickaxe. I do have a pickaxe. I need double-handed. Yeah, it has to be double-handed. Okay, no problem. Let's do the ruler shots. Definitely a lot faster for mining. Holy crap. It used to be a lot longer than that. Uh, could we get it rock, too? No, that's that's not showing up with a red, white circle. There we go. Another circle. I don't think it's taking up any stamina while we're doing this, too. That might be something they have to work on. Now, I don't know if the gems were worked on also. Let's see if we can ore these gems up. We can't right now, no. These big mushrooms. Now, there was nothing in here to attack us last time. I think in the future there probably will be, but right now there isn't. We actually can grab up as much iron as we want in these areas. Here we go. Is this part of it? It is. Is it stone? What do we get here? Iron again. We've got five iron so far, which we can use if we build a blacksmith area, which we're probably going to have to do. We are getting skill points for this. Six a shot. That's not horrible. Is this iron too? It looks like rock. It would be cool if they had a little bit of each inside the cave. That would be a lot better than just 
a little bit of iron. Okay. I will digress. And again, early access game is being developed. I get it. I'm not debating it. I just, again, things I'd like to see. I'm very patient. But I would like to see these kind of things. All right. 12 more sellers arrived. Let's grab a little more goodies from the cave and explore a little more. Let's take out our torch. Nothing here. Didn't do too much work inside the mines right now. I don't think they've worked on that very much, except for a couple, maybe graphical. It does look a little cleaner. What is that over there? Oh, it's a mushroom. Okay, crap. I was like, they added something. There is a light over there. Is that the exit? Okay, I think it's the exit. I think it's the exit. All right, we'll see. It's too bad we can't grab those gems. Oh, that'd be so sweet. I don't know why. I just want to grab them. They're there. We should be able to grab them. Maybe in the future. Nice. Getting those experience points we need. And again, this is part of the game. We're going to have to grind and collect as many things as we can. It's nice to have a cave right next to us. I don't know if it respawns or not. Uh, if you can come back in a cave. I remember someone telling me that it used to. And I don't know if this update, they fixed that point of it. Where you used to walk in and out. And it respawn. All right, so currently the stone does come back. As you can see, I just popped out of a cave. And it looks like it came back without any kind of problems. Now we have two hands of it. We'll grab these two pieces here. Whichever way, it is part of the game. And I can understand why, too. We have to be able to mine and then placing them down. Maybe that won't happen later in the future. But for now, as a game stands, you can then go in and out, most likely, and mine. I know that, at least on a surface-wise, it definitely comes back. Now, I did get all the iron I could inside the actual cave. I went around the ruins, I should say, not the cave. Let's put this away. We'll gather some more berries. There we go. With level four, we can actually do what we want to do now. We can actually upgrade ourselves. And we'll just grab a couple more berries and make ourselves full. I do think the berries and the plants do grow back. Uh, we do need to build a farm, and that's probably our next plan to get a farm going after we finish this. I would like to get some a better sword. And a better ability to defend ourselves. All right, let's open up the torch. Oh, the torch, please. Put you away. Thank you. One for the sword. There you go. Beautiful. All right, I'd like to get some more stuff going here. Let's see what we need for this. We need a carpenter, I think, right? I'm pretty sure. Hunger is there. We're just going to eat as much as we can. Now, I wish we could drop the entire thing and it just took out all the hunger, but it does not. We do have the wolf steak, which we can use. We're going to cook that up tonight. We'll get experience points for that. And here we go. Actually, we're going to make sure this one's empty. Unfortunately, you can't grab and pile up any more than you can. For some reason, if the pile is four and two, they won't pile up together. We're going to go cook up the food right now. And then we're going to head out in the morning to start looking at a brand new skill point, I guess we can use. A new perk. Uh, let's open up here a table. Yeah, let's do it on the table. And it was a wolf steak. Do we have and let's craft that baby up now it gives you a time like i mentioned before and this wolf steak will give you plus 65 health and minus 64 hunger which is phenomenal we'll try and keep it this time for when we actually need it and use the berries as much as possible this actually goes good the meat will not go bad like i mentioned before and we get 33 experience points and one roasted meat that's perfect all right we'll open up our can oops our storage and we will store anything we don't need untreated stone and tree of stone and of course our iron our berries and our steak there we go it's quite a bit of stuff got what 17 iron in there wow that's that's pretty decent all right let's get some sleep we'll put away the torch to be safe good to have that in bed and we're gonna do daylight and then it goes really quick 256 times and bam we're back to daylight probably starving a bit there we go 31 let's open this up we'll grab our berries it's not enough to doesn't come over all in one shot. Eh? That's too bad. Uh, it's not enough for us to grab the wolf steak at the current time. Maybe tonight we'll grab you. There we go. We're fed. Let's make sure we're completely fed. There we go. Perfect. And we'll put back the berries. Make up some room. Uh, we are going to have to build. Let's make sure we grab our supplies here while we're here. Main goal. But we could build this too. If we get mine worker probably get more out of that and it takes 15 wood we have more enough to do that hmm 
Now, the other thing we can do is these little shops, right? Wooden tavern, big tavern, a store. Architect and negotiator. Wow, we need to really work on some skill points here. To farm, what do we need? Farm gardener. That farm is going to be very handy. And only that for experience points, we can really go up pretty quick. And a herbalist will actually be able to win it. Windmill, I don't think we ever made that. I think that's brand new too. So many things. I do need a bigger sword to defend ourselves against wolves when they actually do attack. That is going to be a thing. And I think smithing is actually where we're going to have to go next. So we're going to do novice blacksmith. And that's what we're going to need. Let's, let's go and look for someone who has novice blacksmith for us. Uh, it's a nice day. How you guys all doing? You guys all piled up here still? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Are you fool? Get out of my sight. No, I'm, I'm not the one standing by and not doing anything. It's okay. We, we have some people. You look like a blacksmith. You look like someone who knows blacksmithing. Is that possible? Let's go and look here. Worker, taskmaster, novice swordsman, traveler, butcher. Why? Well, I got a lot. And there you go. Blacksmith apprentice. We need novice blacksmith. That's 15 points. How many points do we have? 15 points. All right. All right. Took a little bit of searching, but I did find one. And unfortunately, the other one was sleeping. So I did walk outside and I just happened to find one right here. So novice, that's perfect. We'll learn 10. Thank you so much for your help. Uh whoever you are what is your name talk to h cont i don't even want to say it. h continue i guess let's not even go there um that sounded horrible when i had to say it. all right let's get over here and we'll start up to figure out we're gonna need 15 or is it 30 logs 30 logs for that 30 piece of wood let's see if we can actually pull out at least some here i got quite a bit actually i'm doing some off camera two three four Uh, let's grab it. I think it's 15 total. I have my on me right now. Uh, we can actually make the blacksmith. We're going to place that baby right next to here. Can I fit that baby right here? Because that'd be great if it's right next to our store. Uh, boom. Let's put her here. Yes, I want to build that. Blacksmith. And no. Oh, right there. Perfect. A little further back, like that. That way there's room for people to move around. Right there. Most excellent. All right, let's drop in. How many do we have in here on us? Uh, we had 14. I think we have more than enough. Let's go and check out to see how much we have in here. Let's open this up and grab the rest of the wood that we can. I think we have them all. And maybe one more run and we're done. We've built... I thank goodness we did that on the side. Sitting here logging for two more logs. We're good to go. Let's get the wood. One, two. You guys are just like really stuck together. Perfect. Wow, look at that beauty. She's a beauty. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Yeah, that's really sweet. Look at that. Look at us. We're growing. We're becoming something. Yes. All right, we can actually go back and pick up all the other stuff. Let's we'll see what here. We can make blades and stuff with it. We can increase our blades. We do need to craft out some stuff with that, though. We can pick up the iron. Let's go and get the iron. All right, iron, where are you? Yeah, there we go. We got... We can't bring up piles, so we're bringing all that in here. Perfect. And we'll put the rest in here now. Let's go and see the inside of this place at the same time. Oh, I thought someone was selling there. All right, cool. This is actually the work desk. Work desk here, you can do the same thing as we could at the other place at the archery. And I guess learning other things, another work desk we can use. Again, we're building as we're going, we're learning. And we're, we're testing out this town to see all the cool things we can do. But if you want to forge, I think this is the one in front. And this is what we want to do. So we want to make ignits for sure. Uh, we're, we're going to need to make this. We need two times. All right, let's craft it up. So the items needed is five times ore. So let's see how much five times ore gives us. Eight times the speed. And also see what kind of experience part we get for doing this. Come on, baby. 17 for one. All right. So it takes five for one. It's a good thing we got that many. We got 17 originally, so we're built to craft out a couple of these. 
And that's going to help us out anyways. We're still getting experience points, 17 a pop. So we did a Blacksmith Apprentice. We're actually crafting up an Iron Blank, I think. We'll see if that works. Which we use for swords. Anyways, we're going to need to make one. Perfecto. And is it here? There's an anvil right here. Okay, the anvil. Perfect. So we get the anvil here. We did one hundred one handed dagger. I don't want a dagger. Daggers didn't work out too well. Okay, we have no choice. We're going to have to do iron. And the cross type here is this little part. We can sure you can change. It's whatever you feel like. You can change a handle too. And again, I think you can pick up whichever handle you feel like in this one, right? Hmm, I like that one. And a pummel, which is the back, which you use to smack whoever it is you want to. That's kind of nice. It's also the between both. You actually, when you're holding on to it. So let's get over here. Let's see the blade. Hmm. One handed, one handed iron sword. That's pretty good. Not enough resources available, which is why. What do we need for this? Uh, it takes iron blank time two. We can make that. How far can we go before it becomes a, a different apprentice? Novice blacksmith still, all right. And this is a limitation we have. So the blade would be three time iron blanks we need for our blade. Hmm. All right, let's open her up. It's a beautiful sunset. Uh, we need three iron blanks. Can we do that? No. We need to ignite. Wow, we're going to have to go mining some more. All right, well, we're going to hold that then before we actually craft that up. It is dark as hell. Open up a torch image. There we go. Do I have, st I have storage here? I know I have storage. Put you away. There must be storage around here. Look at all these crates. I remember having storage in these places. Did they take that away? Do you actually need a house now? Hmm. I used to remember storing stuff. Anyways, it is what it is. I'll go and drop off this stuff into our house for now, temporarily, as I go around and around in a circle. And we're going to have to wait up and go to mining some more. Finding, well, we're going to have to explore a bit. And hopefully find another ruin, which is right over there. Just to get it done. You guys are enjoying this? Yeah, good. Uh, you guys are strange. Strange people they are. All right, let's put this away. So we got iron units and we got that. We're going to need to put this. So we have, what, two? Yeah. Uh, we have two iron ore, one iron ingot, and where's our blank? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was like, where's my blank? It's right in front of me. Perfect. All right, we're going to get some sleep. I uh, should be starving. 31. I'll be even hungrier tomorrow. Let's put away the torch. Put away the torch. Press E. Let's wait for sun sunrise. And bam. Just like that, a nice rest has been done. And we're going to grab the steak in here. And we're going to eat that baby up. Perfecto. Beautiful morning, guys. How you doing? I'm glad you guys are still sticking around. But I think we're going to leave it here, guys. We've done pretty much everything we could. We got this done. We did the mining. We did some mining. We're going to do a little more exploration around this island and check in and see if there's any other cities around us. Uh, we'll take a little tour around and see if there's anything and also find some more ruins we can mine. Uh, we can actually go back in this mine if we want to and actually mine. I might do a little bit of that just so we can build our sword up and see what there is. But thank you so much again for being here. If you guys like this series, do not forget to hit the like button. It's always very much appreciated. Again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like button. Don't forget to subscribe and then hit the like button if you enjoyed this. This is the Edge Game Edge. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.